Hi there. Welcome to another episode of Jana Eats, gluten and casein free food for all. Super delicious. If you have a moment and you like what I'm putting down, I would so love it if you'd subscribe to my channel and even leave a comment or a like. Just let me know your thoughts and what works for you and what doesn't or even what you'd like to see me make in the future. Uh, thanks so much. I also have a website, JanaEats.com, where you can print out the recipes too if you uh, find that an easier way to cook. So today we're going to do a butternut squash curry sauce. Um, it's a great that you know, like you can put it on um, a pizza, believe it or not. You could put it on pasta. You can just pour it over vegetables, but it's a nutritive, delicious sauce uh, that comes together easily and just make a batch and then you can add things to it during the week. So I'm gonna start with a couple tablespoons. Um, I like avocado oil for this. It's a very neutral oil uh, available at Costco or any of your grocery stores. Makes it pretty easy. It's good for you. And uh, I, just for expedia's sake, I diced up half an onion right here. It was a relatively small onion. It's about a half a cup of diced onion. You're gonna wanna put your aromatics on the stove so they get to know themselves. You want those flavors to bloom. So that's why I'm gonna start like this. So, and then I, I've got some, uh, ginger, fresh ginger, and I'm going to use my trusty microplaner to uh, plane off about a tablespoon of fresh ginger. And it's, you know, this is a pretty forgiving recipe, so it doesn't have to be exact. Let's see, I think more. Don't grate your finger. You Trust me, you only do that once. Woo! See that? Okay, so a good amount of grated ginger. So I'm gonna start with, um, let's see. Oop, come back here. Okay, now you see this isn't exact. But anyway, here's one tablespoon. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of red curry sauce. Now you can do this with it, you can do it with yellow curry powder. You can throw in a tablespoon in here and let that cook with the oil and the aromatics. I'm doing a red curry paste just because I've got it. I also do green. So, and, and these, this is a great little brand too. It's fresh and um, delicious. So I'm gonna put this on the stove for maybe about five minutes and just let it kind of get to know itself. I'll be back and then we can talk about all the other ingredients that go into this easy sauce. Whoops, almost forgot. Don't forget the garlic. Keeps you sexy. So, clove of garlic. And I'm gonna mince that up. You know, I'm, I'm gonna mince that up pretty finely. So people don't get a big chunk of garlic. Although I, I would view that as a gift. If I got a chunk of garlic, it's a gift, but not everybody's like everybody else, right? So viva la différence. So I'm chop mincing this up and in. Okay, now I can put it on the stove. So I've let the, the onion and the aromatics, I've let them cook on the stove in medium heat I don't know, for about 10 minutes. Just, you know, the onion's translucent now. You can really smell it. I wish he had smell -a vision Anyway, so I'm gonna add two tablespoons of fish sauce. I really love Red Boat. The only ingredient in here is anchovies. It adds this great umami. Mommy. Mommy like umami. Ooh, I got it. Maybe I'll do a t-shirt. Mommy. Love umami. And uh, I'm gonna do a cup of bone broth. Um, it's great collagen, great protein. 
cup of that. Here's a tiny box of Kettle and Fire. I do like this brand a lot. I like the fact that they don't always do a giant box. Ooh, okay, good. Uh, a cup of organic coconut milk. Okay, I just found this. See, it says simple on there. So I thought, what's the diff? Well, this is just coconut milk and water. There is no guar gum or any like thickener or anything in here. It's just coconut. So um, be on the lookout. I think this is kind of new, but because um, I shop a lot. Then we're going to put, let me get my thing. We're going to put a can of the butternut squash. Now, if you want, you could do fresh butternut cube butternut squash, cook it in this cooking liquid for, you know, until the squash is soft, maybe 20 minutes, and then blend it. But I've got a lot of canned uh, sweet potato and squash just because I bake with it. It's so nutritive, delicious, and good for you. I just thought I'd use what I've got in my pantry. So we're going to stir in that butternut squash into the mixture. I'm going to add a, let's do, let's do a half teaspoon of salt. Just because I'm a salty old girl. That's right. I should probably put a little sugar in there because I'm so salty. Then I'm going to stir this up. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. So I'm going to grab the blender and really make sure this is nice and emulsified and we'll be right back to show you the finished product. I did make some pasta. In this case I'm trying this uh, green pea Felicia. Felicia organic green pea rotini. Uh, it does taste a lot like peas so if you're not into that I would pick a buckwheat pasta or any kind of gluten-free pasta um, over this or just do a bunch of vegetables and serve it over rice too. I got my blender set up and I'm just gonna put this schmoo. I'm gonna do it over the sink. You know how that goes, right? The minute I don't, I'll, it'll go everywhere. So we're just gonna put the curry sauce into the blender. Turn it on, put it on low. Taste it. It's really good. It's really good. And if you want it spicier, because this is, doesn't have a lot of heat, add sriracha, add some red chili flakes. Um, you know, make it your own. Even a little lemongrass would be great in this. And the other thing too is when you're done with this, throw herbs onto your, so I'm gonna, Build the pasta dish. Here, I'll do it right now. Sauce. Oh my God. Mm -mm. Top with some fresh herbs. Boom. You've got yourself a meal. Come back next time. Let me know what you think. And I'll be here. Tune in next Wednesday for another episode of Jana Eats. Thanks so much for following me. And thanks for subscribing. And I'd love to hear from you. So leave some comments on that YouTube site so I know what you want to see me make next. See you next time. Bye.